Hey guys, Kim Hill here with Guns, Gear, and Freedom. Today, I want to talk about Springfield Armory's limited lifetime warranty. I actually want to talk about the reason why I want to talk about it. Uh, sorry if I sound a little stuffed up in the nose. I am because I have a cold. I'm trying to get over that. Anyways, moving on. I had a magazine that appeared to be defective in worksmanship and materials. Uh, there was a little split working at the base of the magazine tube and it was probably no bigger than a couple millimeters. I'll show that here in just a second. But basically I went through the process of emailing uh, one of the representatives with my serial number on my pistol and it was actually hassle free to get an entire replacement magazine which I assume is in this box because it's labeled that it's from Springfield and they said that they would send me one right out like I said, the first thing I did was send an email. A representative named Jacob Wolf uh, told me that he just needed my serial number to my pistol and that he'd take care of me, and he certainly has. About three days later in the mail, I received this envelope, and in this envelope is an invoice with my address and the bill to and everything confirming that he put in an order for my magazine and the cost was zero dollars for me uh, zero dollars to ship but that was from Springfield Armory Springfield's limited lifetime warranty expresses that Springfield Incorporated warrants to the initial retail purchaser that the products it sells will be free of defects in worksmanship or material during his or her lifetime as long as he or she owns the product since I'm the original purchaser of the Springfield XDM 9mm 3.8 uh, my magazine tube like I said uh, looks like it's developed a hairline fracture or split and I'm going to illustrate that alright guys so what actually happened here was my pistol appeared to have developed without any let's say I don't really drop my magazines when I reload I just kind of catch them and a lot of people do but uh, professionals they just drop them on the ground and to me that's kind of uh, I don't know neglecting your your equipment or being a little harder on it than you'd have to be uh, in a combat situation obviously you just want to drop it and go but uh, in everyday shooting and you're trying to take care of your equipment you probably just want to you know be easy on it so I just you know release my magazine and it comes out and I catch it well I've been doing this the whole time this gun is empty magazines empty and at the bottom of this magazine tube down here it's developed a hairline freaking crack and I'm going to show that in closer here in just a second there it is right there guys that little split at the bottom that's what I've been working with anyways it's not that it's really uh, concerning to me that it's going to break but this is my everyday conceal weapon and I want stuff that is going to reassure me that it's going to work without breaking apart anyhow I would just like to point out that without any questions asked Springfield sent a new magazine replacement out right away uh, they didn't even ask me if it was something you know weird or anything that I'd done to the magazine or anything like that which I haven't but on the same note it was hassle free <laughs> you can't ask for anything better than that uh, a lot of you probably own XDs or XDMs and have a lifetime warranty if you have problems with your gun I'm sure they're gonna hook you right up I'm gonna go ahead and open this box and make sure that the magazine replacement is exactly the same but I'm pretty sure it is sharp in my pocket knife by the way some of you watching my previous videos have noticed that uh, my knife was getting pretty dull when I was trying to open some packages but uh, went ahead and sharpened it up so don't have to worry about that anyhow let's see what they've sent me in this box sent me uh, paperwork that indicates they shipped one magazine right there and let's see so packing and there it is Let's see if this one has the same same thing as uh, the other one does. Hmm, nice and fresh magazine. And, uh, you know, I'll be darned if it didn't have it too. <laughs> and that might just be that the magazine is uh, 
the way it's made. My other spare magazine doesn't have that though, so I'm kind of curious. But this is a brand new magazine, and uh, it has that split too. So if yours has that, I wouldn't worry about it too bad. But I just got a free magazine, and can't beat that. If you find my videos useful and informative, please click the subscribe button. It really helps me out. And it will also help you stay up to date on all of my newest releases. I try to release a firearms or outdoor related video at least once a week. And by subscribing, you'll be able to see those videos, obviously. Anyways, I'd appreciate it if you could share these videos with your friends. And click the thumbs up button for me. Thanks a lot. You guys have a good day. All right, guys, let's pull this sucker out. This is the Firefield Tactical 10x40x50. As you can see, 